The trials of Jesus in the Bible all have a similar theme. Jesus is dragged before the elders, Herod, and Pilate. Accusations are made, mostly false, and decisions are made for the good of those doing the judging, not based on evidence, justice, or truth. How very, very human. Again, we see Jesus, who came to identify with others, identifying with the experience of the lowly or misunderstood. How often do we see facts misrepresented or simply made up because what one group wants or needs to happen is in direct conflict with the actions and needs of another? How often do we see lies become accepted as truth because they've been repeated so many times? How often have we all been sucked in by words like these made gullible? Those judging Jesus did so with one thing in mind, what would be best for them? We all have trials in our lives. Sometimes we can bring judgment on ourselves, but often we can become the victims of the wants and whims of others. In the worst situations, gossip and rumor flourish, and we can become a source of cruel entertainment for those judging us. Even as Jesus was subjected to such trials, this is not the way of Jesus. Micah 6, 8 asks, What does the Lord require of us but to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with our God? The way of Jesus is justice and mercy. When you hear rumors or gossip, remember they are a kind of trial, that someone is being put on trial. And remember, if you will, the call of Jesus, whose suffering came from the words of others as well. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on our souls. Teach us to speak truth and to always speak it with mercy. Forgive us when we fail and remind us of the sacrifice your son made so that we might live despite our failures and continue to seek strength and healing in you. In his name we pray. Amen.